Good morning, Kindergarten Panthers. I hope you're ready for a thrilling Thursday today. Let's get our day started. Yesterday was the fourth day of our new month, so what's gonna come after four? Tell your family right now. I hope you said five, that's right. And let's take a look at this new pattern for our month. We have leaf, cornucopia, pumpkin, turkey, and today it's gonna start all the way back over with a leaf. So that's a bigger pattern than we've had for September and October. So my month now starts with a capital N and it is November. So today is November the 5th and my pattern started over today. So my pattern for November is leaf cornucopia pumpkin turkey leaf and it will keep on going. So this pattern, leaf cornucopia pumpkin turkey, there are four different things that are repeating. So if I wanted to label this pattern, I would say leaf A, cornucopia B, pumpkin C, turkey D. It's an A, B, C, D pattern. And we'll keep talking about that as the month goes on. But that's a bigger pattern for our month of November, okay? So today is November the 5th. I know there are 12 months in every year. Let's repeat our months today. And when we get to November, I want you to gobble like a turkey. So you'll say November, gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> Can you do that with me? All right, ready, repeat after me. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, gobble, 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 gobble. December, good job. So November is almost at the end of the year. So right now it is November the 5th, 2020. And then next month it will be December and then we'll start a whole new year and it won't be 2020 anymore. Then it would be 2021. So we'll talk about that soon too, okay? We're gonna start practicing how to wrap the day each day. So today is November the 5th though and now we're looking at days of the week. I know there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days in the week. Seven days of the week. Sing with me. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. These are the days of the week. Seven days of the week. Let's all have a great week. Uh-huh. Good job. So today's day of the week is not Sunday, not Monday, not Tuesday, not Wednesday. It must be what day? Thursday, that's right. What day is today? Today is Thursday. And since it's Thursday, that means yesterday was Wednesday. Wednesday already happened. Wednesday, Thursday, and then tomorrow will be Friday. Okay. So yesterday was 45 days of kindergarten. So I do need to add another straw for today. So if we had 45 yesterday and I get one more for today, what's going to come after 45? 46, that's right. So let's put that one in there. And I have four in my tens place, but that's a whole lot more than four straws. But four in my tens place means four bundles of 10. So see if you can count those with me. 10, 20, 30, 40. There are 40 straws here for four bundles of 10. I can count by tens up to 100. I can count by tens. Ready, here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I have four tens in my tens place and I have six ones in my ones place for 46 days of kindergarten. Now, are you ready for Math Works Daily? Here in my green box, we have how many? I have some yo-yos. Yo-yo starts with that y, the Y sound. Count how many yo-yos I have. One, two, three, four. I have four. Here's my number four, four yo-yos. Gonna put that up there. Now let's tell a story about these yo-yos. Let's say Mrs. Brandon went to Walmart to buy some yo-yos. I found four yo-yos. Then I kept walking down the aisle and I found one more. So if I had four yo-yos plus, that plus sign means I'm adding, I'm getting bigger. Four yo-yos plus one more. How many would I have now? Four plus one would equal five. Yeah, I'm getting bigger. Four plus one equals five. Now let's tell a different story. Let's say Mrs. Branham 
is at the toy store and I go to check out at the aisle with four yo-yos and I get ready to pay and oh no, I dropped one and it rolled away. So if I had four minus I dropped one, how many do I have left now? Minus means you're taking away. Four minus one, now I have one, two, three. So four minus one would leave me with three. Good job. Okay, let's go over to making five. I have some bricks today. Look at my fives frame here. I have two bricks there. So how many more bricks do I need to make five? And look, those bricks are rectangular prisms, those 3D shapes. How many more do I need to make five? I need three. I need three more. So now let's tell a story about these. Let's say I started off with these two bricks plus Mrs. Allen came and she brought me three more bricks. So if I had two plus, I get those three more. Two plus three is gonna equal how many? Five, then I have a full five spring. Good job. Okay, let's go to my yellow box comparing numbers. I have some nets today. On this side, I have how many nets? One, easy peasy. On this side, I have how many nets? Two. All right, one net and two nets. Which one is less? Less, good, one. One is less than two. It's your smaller number, good job. Okay, count them out with my frogs here. My frogs are gonna jump up. You see my numbers here like a tens frame. We're gonna count up to six and then we're gonna count them back. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Good, now we're gonna count them back. We're starting with six. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good job, we counted them back. Now make it equal, we have a glove here. Soon it's gonna be time to start wearing gloves outside. It's gonna get much colder as we get closer to the winter season. We're still in fall right now, but here I have how many gloves? One. So if I wanna make it equal with purple circles, remember equal is a fancy word for the same. How many would I need to make it equal? One, one purple circle and one glove. Now they're equal, good job. Okay, now I have some skunks. Phew, shoo-wee, skunks. They smell bad, don't they? But let's look at my skunks. One of them is taller and one of them is shorter. Can you point to the shorter skunk? Good, this one is shorter. The opposite of tall is short. This one is shorter than the other one. Good job. All right, Kindergarten Panthers, I hope you work very hard today and that you have a wonderful day.